We begin with a breaking news update tonight. There is new information about 30 year old Whitney Turner Tyson. She's the Little Rock woman charged in a child's death on a Saline County interstate. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Fox 16 News. I'm Kevin Kelly. I'm Donna Terrell. We're getting this information from numerous run ins with the Little Rock Police Department and apparent drug use. Mitch McCoy is live tonight outside the Little Rock Police headquarters where he's been going through their records to learn more about this woman. Good evening, Mitch. Yeah, good evening, Donna. Good evening, Kevin. You know, the, the woman, the 30 year old, is in the Saline County Jail about 30 minutes away, but it is uh, the history unfolding inside this police department and their records that's giving us some kind of light into who this Whitney Tyson, uh, Turner Tyson is. Her history starts with Little Rock Police. It involves public intoxication, drugs, and disturbances. In one report, officers describe her behavior as erratic. And and combative, apparently being pepper sprayed at least once by law enforcement. In 2017, police records show Turner Tyson was involved in some kind of disturbance with a man where officers say it appeared she was high on drugs. At one point, LRPD offered to contact DHS for a family member who was watching Turner Tyson's child, but the family member denied the request. Officers reported the child appeared healthy with clean clothes. Turner Tyson is facing a capital murder charge tonight in the death of a child on Interstate 30. This comes after state police say the child was repeatedly dropped from a moving car. We just spoke with Little Rock Police a few moments ago. They talk a little bit about their history with her dating back to 2017. Numerous reports. We'll have much more on that and what we're finding in those police records tonight on Fox 16 News at 9. But for now, we're live outside police headquarters in the capital city. I'm Mitch McCoy, Fox 16 News.